What's up everybody, Manny Coach here with Helium 10 and I wanna show you something cool that I don't think most people that use Helium 10 even know. But I'm gonna show you what everybody should be doing at some point if they're trying to source a product and the long way to do it and the short way of doing it or the more intelligent way of doing it. All right, so we're here on Amazon and let's just say that I run, uh, I'm gonna do a product search for, um, I'm just gonna make something up here, phone tripod. All right, phone tripod. Okay, um, first thing you're gonna know, we have the Helium 10 extension up here in the top right, so it's installed and it's gonna be loading data. But I wanna, what I wanna do is I want to look for reviews, okay? Um, something with a lot of reviews. This one's pretty good, Amazon's Choice right off the bat. Is there any other ones that I want? This one's 1,032, this one will be good too. Let's do this one since it's not Amazon's Choice. Okay, if I click into this product, one of the things that I like to do for products is to go down into the reviews down here, all 1,000 of these reviews, okay? And I want to start reading through them. And I, I'm specifically looking for the one star to three star reviews, okay? Because that's where I'm going to find all the problems with this product. And I can then use all that, uh, that, that data to make my product better, right? If they say, oh, this tripod, tripod has this problem and this problem and this problem, I can then go to my sourcer, right, my, my uh, factory, and I can say, let's make sure that we fix these three things so that when I come to market, I'm not getting these one star, two star, and three star reviews for the same issue, even if I'm getting it from the same factory or same supplier, okay? So the old way of doing this was to go in here and copy uh, and then paste this into an, ex uh, an Excel spreadsheet and go to the next one and copy and paste it and then do this until you're finished, right? And then you can start reviewing. Now there are, what, 1,032. Let's bring over, um, oops, hang on. Let me, let me shrink this down. I'm gonna bring up a calculator why is my calculator so big? All right, here we go. Let's just say you could copy and paste every single review in 10 seconds, okay, over into a uh, to a spreadsheet. Um, and you're gonna do this by 1,000, what was it, 1,050, 1,032. 1,032 reviews, okay? Now, if I divide this by 60 seconds, that's 100, and 72 minutes. So if I was a beast and I just worked at this nonstop, it would take me 172 minutes, right? So that's what, just over two, uh, almost three hours, right? Let's do this right. Yeah, almost, 2.8. So it's three hours. Now what I would do is I'd do this probably for 10 products, okay? So if I multiply that by 10, right, I'm gonna be at like 28 hours. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, that's crazy, right? I will hire a VA, I will pay them $5 an hour and they can go do that at $5 an hour times let's say 20 hours, if they can do it in 20 hours, it's $100. But that's crazy, that's the old way of doing it. One of the ways you can do this now is once you're on your product page, right, any product page that you want, over here in Helium 10, you can click on the Chrome extension and down here you got Review Downloader. Click Review Downloader and then I've got all this criteria. I can search by date, okay, for, for reviews, only verified reviews, only helpful, reviews with images or whatever, but I don't care about any of this right now. I wanna get all reviews and I want one, two, and three stars, so I'm gonna turn off four and five star reviews. And there's also a search field so you can search for a specific keyword, reviews with, with words in there. So I'm gonna click extract. And what would have took 2.8 hours or whatever it, it, it said, right? Something like that. This is gonna do in about 10 seconds, okay? It's almost finished already and it's done, okay? So I've got all these one star, two star, and three star reviews and I can go in and I can see what's wrong with it. Like this one right here, it says, the extension legs are very thin and flimsy. So I want something sturdier. Um, right here, they said the same thing, it was sturdy. Um, and just go through this, through, you know, you will go up to the top here, export the reviews, okay? And that's gonna give you a CSV file. Then have your VA, they just saved 20 something hours, right? If you do this times 10 products. Um, in fact, they can do all of this for you. Have them go through all of these in the spreadsheet, okay? Actually, let me download this. I'll show you what it looks like and I'll open it. Um, so I now have all the reviews for this product, right? Okay, which is really cool. I can see um, everything. Essentially, I can see who wrote it. I can see the title. I can see the date. Um, I can see the rating, right? Whether it was two star, three star, two star, I can go through. Um, very, very cool. So I would have my VA actually start documenting the main things that are wrong with these products, okay? The top 10 products in my industry so that I can start seeing what is a common occurrence. 
So if I see the number one thing that's constantly mentioned is that the legs are super flimsy, then that's something I'm gonna, um, I want to correct. If it says the screws um, are, are that the, the case doesn't grip on or it smells weird, super strong scent, um, you know, I want to correct those things, right? It makes sense that so you, you want to go through. So have a VA do this. You can fix all the problems that you're going to have. You can avoid all of those one, two, and three stars, especially on a new product. Because if you launch a new product and right off the bat, you get a review that's a one star, right? And it's the first one that you see when you get to your listing. Everybody that comes to your listing, that beginning uh, stage where you're trying to build up reviews, they're not going to buy. They're going to go, oh, this thing's only got one review or two reviews and it's a one star. They're going to bounce out, right? So it's critical in the, in the beginning that you get really good reviews. So that's pretty cool. Again, that's just a Chrome extension. Um, if we go back here, you just right click. I'm sorry, not right click. You click the icon and then click uh, review downloader. And like I said, you can do a lot of stuff. I can say, maybe you want to see all the positive stuff, see what they're doing right. I can say, I only want four and five star, but I only want verified reviews to make sure they're real people. So I can click verified and then I can extract that way, right? Does that make sense? So that's it. That is our review downloader. It's a tool hardly anybody ever uses. They don't realize it's uh, in the extension up here, right? Oops, let me get back. Somehow I clicked on something else here. Um, you can, yeah, just click the extension and then there's uh, inventory levels and there's going to be, there's ASIN grabber and some other things. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have a friend that does not have Helium 10 yet, you know, slap them in the head. Say, you got to go. This is the site right here. Uh, go to helium10.com forward slash x-ray. I had the URL changed up here, but helium10.com forward slash x-ray. We'll actually bring people to this page that you see here where they can click that nice, beautiful green button to get the Chrome extension. They can start using X-Ray. They can, uh, well, as long as you have this Chrome extension, you can start using everything, review, downloader, and everything else that we have on there, okay? All right, guys, Till next time, my name's Manny Coates. Keep on crushing it. Keep on living life in a large way, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now. Yeah.